uh elon musk says we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share period i keep forgetting that you're still alive i'm gonna be honest with you dude if you're like every out of the 144,000 uh, uh people that like this tweet every single one of them is a broke boy a loser and will never be successful under capitalism a lot of you not you guys in here but a lot of those people think that like oh if only we fucking unshackled the restrictions off this capitalist government bullshit like oh man in that free market economy bro i would be killing it like i'd be the factory owner no the fuck you wouldn't the thing i was gonna say about elon musk and like we'll talk more about politics tomorrow obviously tomorrow's monday we're back to doing the news and this is supposed to be fun day but Bernie is harmless, dude, okay? He's a harmless old man who has dedicated his entire life to socialism. If you hate Bernie Sanders, whether you're a uh, you know, scummy, vulturous, blood-sucking, parasitic capitalist, or whether you're like a leftist who wants to make a, a, you know, make a name for themselves or whatever the fuck, you're a scumbag. Like, ultimately, he's, he's literally harmless. Like, he, he can't even harm you as a capital owner. So, like... I don't know. He's just a good person. There is, that's it. He's a good person with good values and he's lived by those values his entire fucking life. It's like the least, it's like the least, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like other than like, getting mad at someone like Bernie Sanders who says we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share period. Like how the fuck do you get mad at that? It's almost worth losing the earth to climate change. If it takes Elon Musk out, <laughs> she did not say that, but I do like, I'm so fucking conflicted because like I advocate for, uh, you know, renewable energy initiatives, but like the poster boy for renewable energy initiatives is fucking Elon Musk. And I feel like every time I advocate to shift resources away from like fossil fuels over to fucking uh, green energy, it makes me feel like I'm giving him more money. Like I'm literally directly advocating to give him more money. These businesses are entirely reliant, entirely fucking reliant on uh entirely relying on like getting uh government subsidies i wonder what's stressing him out simps dude the npcs keep spamming him so go after bernie for no reason no reason you say you have not been paying attention my sweet summer child p.s bernie is the high sparrow he just sold, sold a shit ton of stock to pay taxes as the richest man in the world so i get why he got triggered by bernie's tweet still a bit harsh in my opinion yeah i love that i love that people think that like their their tweets actually matter in Elon Musk selling Tesla stock. This is a great reply from Bernie's majority staff director for budget chairman. Oh, Warren Gunnels. Funny, because I'll never forget that you'd be worth zero without billions in corporate welfare while paying zero in federal income tax in 2018 and becoming $260 billion richer during the pandemic. Yes, Elon loves corporate socialism for himself, rugged capitalism for the rest. It's true. It's crazy to me that he acts like government subsidies aren't built into his fucking stock prices or built into his profit margins at like every single company he works at from literally the most successful one being Tesla to less successful, but still very successful SpaceX, all the way down to unsuccessful ones like solar flare or whatever the fucking, the, the, the solar panel business that he had that he fucking created with his brother that is like a disaster. Every single fucking business that he has is only alive as a consequence of government subsidies, dude. So him shitting on fucking taxes is so weird. Elon to his infant child. Oh, that's good as fuck. That's funny. Good job, Ken. Look, here's the thing. Elon Musk is in renewable energy, okay? Elon Musk has also, he didn't invent the EV, but he certainly played a significant role in popularizing it, okay? These are things I admit. These are things I readily admit. It pains me to do so because I fucking despise him, but I still admit it, okay? If he were to say, Look, I'm a billionaire and I'm literally a billionaire because these companies are fucking overvalued and it's because my assets are tied. Oh, he wouldn't say that. He wouldn't say that these are overvalued, but um, you know, my assets are tied to my stock prices and that's why I'm a billionaire. But like, I'm a billionaire that fucking, uh, you know, takes advantage of government subsidies, but I'm doing something nice. All these other fucking billionaires are billionaires while, uh, you know, they're destroying the planet, okay? I'm at least like in the forefront, in the cutting edge of like renewable energy, and trying to make it so it's like more marketable, trying to make it so it's better. We're investing money into the R&D side of things. If you were to say shit like that, I'd be like, all right, you know, I fucking still despise him for the workplace safety conditions and shit like that. 
and the fact that he's a billionaire, but like ultimately I would just be like, all right, you know, he's better than the other ones. But he's like, no, I'm just going to be a fucking asshole. Like he's like, I'm going to be the biggest fucking douchebag I can. I'm going to take all the money from the government and then I'm going to get my simps to fucking turn around and be like, ha ha. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Fuck the government teat, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, dude, you're literally emptying out your own coffers because you know full well that like you're still going to get money from the government no matter what.